What is up guys? Welcome back for the first episode of our OU suspect test. If you didn't know, Smogon is currently suspect testing the Sable Knight, thus Mega Sableye, to see if it's too broken. Uh, we're not having Mega Sableye in the tier, like it doesn't exist right now. Nobody can play it on the OU suspect test ladder. There actually is an OU ladder if you still want to play regular OU, if you can see right here. Um, I'm really excited guys for this live today. Uh, for a couple of reasons. The first is that we're using a team that we've used before uh, in the past uh, with uh, the Stallbreaker Hoopa because I still want to see some variants of Stall and see how it does against it if people are still running Stall and have found alternatives to Mega Sableye. And also, the other reason I'm very excited is because my connection to this, uh, the Showdown servers was done. I had no connection from my home internet. I could not access it all. And somehow it remedied itself, thankfully, my buddies Jose and Dom this morning, uh, the morning that I'm recording this, which is Friday, uh, told me to plug in my phone and use it as a hotspot for my internet, and that somehow just fixed the entire problem. Like, my phone's not even connected right now, that's what I had this morning, but it works without it, so really happy about that. Let's just jump into a game. I'm gonna stop babbling on. If you follow me on Twitter and you knew that I was, like, down in the dumps i was so upset i was like okay this is it for me no more youtube it's all over uh but everything ended up working out now the other problem that i'm having right now is that uh capture cards from 3dscapture.com are currently sold out last night from the again from the day that i'm recording this they were available and i went this morning to go and order mine and there were no more so that is lesson to all that you should uh you should get things done early and not procrastinate because now I'm going to have to wait before I can actually get a Sun and Moon a Sun and Moon LP to you guys, which is not a bad thing because I'm still working on getting a PC. I'm going to get one actually. I'm uh, I just have one more payment on it and I'm going to have it in the next 2 weeks. So I'm going to be able to record massive amount of lives, render extremely quickly, all that good stuff. So hopefully that's coming soon. Now, my opponent has a uh, pretty threatening team, like even the low ladder. I'm not low ladder, I'm mid 1200s. But, like, even this part of the ladder has such good players right now because of the suspect test, so gotta be very careful. Uh, I feel like a Zelf is probably just my best lead overall uh, against my opponent's entire team as he chooses to lead off with Lando, which is fine. I don't really want to risk getting uh, U-turned on into Bullet Punch or Sucker Punch, so I'm just gonna set up rocks. If he sets up rocks, that's fine. He does go for U-turn, revealing that he's not Scarfed as well, because he did go after us. And now our rocks are up, and it's gonna be extremely hard for our, oppo our opponent to get rid of them. Uh, especially if he's HP Fire Latios, which I could see because his team is a little bit uh, weak to Scizor uh, and Ferrothorn actually have a hard time dealing with them. So uh, I'm just going to go for a um, for an explosion right here. No reason not to. My opponent wants to go for a Tail Glow. That's absolutely fine. We can just revenge this thing with Yancey anyway. So uh, I'm just going to go hard into it. Actually, I could even go into Magna Zone. Does my opponent have a ground type? Yes, he does. Lando. Um, I like the Yancey here and just protect. Because after the Protect, I'll be able to knock out this Manaphy. And if he wants to go Scizor, he's risking me going into Magnazone. So, uh, there's that. We are going to get the Protect off on the Scald. And it's going to be easy, easy knockout here with the Moonblast. My opponent wants to switch out and keep the Manaphy. That's absolutely fine. Doesn't have a great matchup against me. So, down goes the Manaphy. Uh, what I'll do is I will scout the Scizor if it comes in. He actually goes into Latios, which is interesting. Um, I want to see if this thing has Surf. So, I'm going to go for Protect first. And we'll scout for that as he goes for Psychic. So he might be Specs, which is what I'm fearing. So I'm actually going to go on to Hoopa here, uh, who should be able to take this relatively fine, as it does. And uh, now we're actually going to go for a Drain Punch, I think. Predicting the Bisharp is fine. As he does switch out, goes out into Thunderous, though, unfortunately. So this is going to be re resisted, of course. Not going to take too much from that. Uh, but now I can just go for... Uh, I can actually switch out into Magnazone if I want to. He's not going to go for Focus Blast here in front of a Hoopa. So I could do that. I could also go into Tangrowth. Uh, don't really want to take a plus two HP Ice though. That's not going to work out well for me. I think I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball, honestly. He's going to go for Thunderbolt, but it's not going to be able to knock us out right there. We are going to go for the Shadow Ball, knock out his Thunderous. And uh, our, we're not, we're not going to get Magician this game because our Focus Sash is broken. Uh, unless we were to heal up, uh, heal up all the way, but I don't see that being a thing. My opponent's going to go out into Latios. Uh, this is fine. What I'm going to do is actually going to go hard into Magna Zone. Because I don't expect this thing to throw out anything but a Psychic type move. That is definitely Specs damage from the looks of it. And I'm just going to throw out a Flash Cannon right here. Uh, as we get off some nice damage on this Latios. Going to go for another Psychic. Not knock us out, which is nice. Going to get a Spideff Drop. Doesn't really matter too much. 
I can just go for, uh, I can actually double here, predicting the fact that my opponent might want to go out into Scizor, which might be the better play. Um, we still have Tangrowth, which has HP Fire, which can handle Scizor, so I'm not too worried about that thing. I'm going to go into Rotom here, hard. Uh, I might be risking Rotom, but uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take. As my opponent does not make the double, stays in, okay. Um, and I think, I think I'm going to keep this just because it handles Lando decently. I'm going to sack off Hoopa right here, as he just seems to want to stay in and just psychic me eternally. Uh, curious to know if Magnazone's uh, Thunderbolt can actually take this thing out. Magnazone Choice Scarf versus Latios. Uh, Latios. Uh, we'll say Life Orb, it doesn't really matter. Thunderbolt does 22 to 27, so nowhere near enough. We'll just go for Flash Cannon right here. My opponent switches out this time, that's a very good play. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, but knowing that this thing is Specs, kind of makes me think that he would have HP Fire on it, honestly. From the looks of it, but anyway. Uh, I'm assuming Scizor is going to come in here, which is a little bit scary because now I'm trapped in here with Magnazone, which is not what I wanted, as Bisharp's actually going to come in. Okay, so not too bad. We'll just go for a Flash Cannon right here, and uh, if he wants to set up an SD, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to do some nice damage to this Bisharp. He's just going to go for knockoff. All right, is he Life Orb? He does not show to be Life Orb, so we can go hard into Deancey here, not fearing a Sucker Punch uh, because it doesn't do too much to us, and we will just go for a Moon Blast right here. Onto the incoming Landorus, which is very nice. We're going to get off some nice damage on this thing. And uh, realistically, the only reason I was keeping Rotom for, was for this thing. But uh, Rotom can serve as a good Scizor check because it still has its leftovers. So I'm just going to switch out into Tangrowth, I think. The thing is, his Scizor is always going to be faster than Rotom anyway. So I think Tangrowth is a better uh, Pokemon to keep. I'm just going to go out into Rotom. I should have protected there, actually. That would have been the better play to see what he was going to go for. And uh, I would have gone for a Diamond Storm on the turn after. But uh, my opponent is going to U-turn. I'm assuming into Bisharp. Makes the most sense. As that is what comes out. Now, I can make a play here and go into the Ansi. Uh, but I don't really want to take the damage. So I think I'd much rather just Will-O-Wisp. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. My opponent's going to go for knockoff. That's fine. I'm going to go into the Ansi right here. We're going to fire off a Moonblast. Not even thinking about it. As uh, Scizor could definitely come out, but it's not a problem. Lando is actually sacked here, which is nice. Why is Scizor not come out yet? That is my question. Those are very interesting... Uh, very interesting plays that my opponent's making. Uh, Scizor should have come out a long time ago, but it's gonna, gonna come out here. I'm not risking the SD, I'm just gonna go straight into uh, Tangrowth. Which can probably eat up a plus two U-turn, honestly. Uh, as my opponent goes for a Bullet Punch, which is nice. And he takes Rocky Helmet. We can now go for the Hidden Power Fire. Uh, it will kill the Bisharp, which is exactly what I'm hoping for. Now, okay, he just hard switches, which means he probably doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have the juice, guys. He does not have the juice. He doesn't have the U-turn. I'm, I'm expecting Bug Bite. So, uh, I'm just gonna HP Fire the Scizor, honestly. Uh, if he goes for Bug Bite, it, again, it shouldn't knock us out. We should be fine, barring a crit. As it does not, awesome, he's gonna take Rocky Helmet, and down to HP Fire he goes, so that is gonna be the first game to us. Let's see how many we can get in this live. I may, might make it a little bit of a longer live, because uh, I was missing these, man. Two days that I couldn't even record anything. Uh, the live you guys saw uh, with Jose, I believe yesterday, um, was actually recorded Friday morning, when I figured out that I could actually hotspot my phone to my PC, which was really cool, and it ended up fixing uh, my server interaction, I guess you could say. So my opponent has a Volcanion, very threatening Pokemon, of course. Uh, we do have Magnazone, but he has an Excadrill as well. It's gonna be a little bit of a harder game, I would say. Much harder. All right, um, I think just leading his Elf is fine. Torn is kind of an obvious lead, though. Maybe, uh, huh, maybe Hoopa. Maybe Hoopa, because I can Drain Punch the T-Tar, I can Shadow Ball those two. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna lead Hoopa, actually. Because Titar is Titar gonna go for a pursuit is the question. Let's go for a drain punch. If we lose Hoopa, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. We still have ways to check the uh, the Tangrowth and the Slowbro. Not a huge issue. But I'm just gonna go for a uh, drain punch right here. He might expect Focus Blast. He does not. He stays in. Uh, goes for the pursuit. It's gonna bring me down to Sash, and of course, Sand is gonna be able to knock me out. However. This is a free Deancey right here, and I think I might just actually Moonblast, uh, because I feel like he's banded. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go for the Moonblast, actually. So he goes into Tangrowth, uh, if it's not AV, this is gonna do a lot. 
as it only does 36%, so that is definitely AV. And uh, what I'm actually going to do is protect here on this turn to see what he goes for. Kill off a little bit of sand as well at the same time, which is nice. And uh, I don't have a good Giga Drain switch in, to be honest. But I need to keep the antsy, so we'll go Magna Zone. And uh, HP Fire is a threat, of course. Uh, he's going to go for Giga Drain, but I'm actually not going to HP Fire because it's a little bit too obvious. And I don't think he'd want to bring in Excadrill on an HP Fire. So I'm going to go for Volt Switch. As he actually stays in, I'm assuming to Earthquake. So I'm going to go into his Elf now because Sand's about to end as he goes for the Earthquake. Awesome. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we'll go for the Stealth Rocks right here as Titar comes back in. Okay. Uh, are you Scarfed is the question. Are you Scarfed? Let's go for the Explosion as he is not Scarfed and he loses his Titar as a result. Awesome. Okay. So now we can pretty freely go into Tangrowth because uh, the only thing that threatens Tangrowth is the Tornadus. I'm assuming he might want to spin here. Uh, I'm going to go for the Giga Drain to break that balloon. He does spin, so he's going to take Rocky Helmet, and we're going to get a lot of health back from, well, a lot of health. We took nothing, but uh, we're going to take a lot of health off of the Excadrill as a result. And now I can even go for a knockoff as he goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay, so good play. Uh, going to get rid of uh, no item, of course, thanks to uh, him being a an air balloon set. And how much did he take from that, 21? Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm just going to go for another Giga Drain here. If he switches out into Torn, it's okay. I have a decent check to that. He's going to go into Volcanion, actually, so this is nice. Going to get off some nice uh, nice damage right there. Now, I could switch in Rotom, but I feel like he's just going to Steam Erupt. And that's going to do a lot. Uh, good news is that he no longer has anything faster than Deancey outside of Torn, which doesn't really touch Deancey anyway, uh, because uh, Excadrill is outside of Sand now. So I am going to go Rotom. Uh, Tangrowth is my answer to a couple of his mons. He does go for Fire Blast. Nice. Does not get the burn. That's awesome. And I think we're actually just going to fire off a... Well, I can freely Volt Switch, actually. Well, no, I'm going to Will-O-Wisp, expecting the Tangrowth to come in. And we miss. Okay. All right. Um, is my own Tangrowth the play? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do right here. This is uh, this is tough. I wish we would have hit that, but I'm just going to Volt Switch out. I'm going to go into Magna Zone. It's my best answer. If he Earthquakes, he Earthquakes. What can I do? Uh, he goes for the Giga Drain, though, so that's nice. And uh, I think we're just going to go for Flash Cannon because Excadrill should be in range of two. It's going to do a nice amount to this Tangrowth. going to lower its Spadef, which basically forces it to switch out against my Deancey, which is nice. That's kind of what I wanted. And uh, I can even throw out a... Diamond Storm expecting the Tornadus to come in here. Which is probably... Is it worth the risk, though? He'd keep this, right? Yeah, he can't not keep this. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Diamond Storm. As the Excadrill actually comes in. Okay, not too bad. That's fine. That, that I can deal with. Just go for Moonblast right after. Problem is his own Tangrowth. Like, <laughs> that thing is just annoying. It can just come in every single time. And it has Regenerator, so... Uh, I'm going to go into my own growth here. Luckily, his is uh, Salt Vest. He doesn't have Sleep Powder, so we don't have to deal with that. He's going to go for Giga Drain. He's going to do a nice chunk. Uh, we're going to go for Knock Off. Get rid of his... Okay, he just switches out into Tornadus. Cool. Get rid of that thing's Life Orb. So that's nice. Going to go into Rotom here. And what's good is that I can keep pivoting. Uh, he goes for a Hurricane. It's not going to do too much because he doesn't have the Life Orb anymore. And I can even just Pain Split right here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Because he's going to go for Super Power, fail to knock us out because, again, he doesn't have the Life Orb. Going to get a lot of health back right there, and now he can't really do anything to us. He's forced to switch, which means that I get off a of Willow here as he goes into Tangrowth. Okay, cool. Now this thing is burned. Now it's not as useful. So we, we're going to go for a uh, Volt Switch. This should have happened a, a while ago, a few turns back. But uh, we're going to go back into our own Tangrowth. Absolutely fine. Nice, uh, nice volt switching going on right here. He goes for the knockoff. He's going to take Rocky Helmet, and he's also going to take Burn. And uh, now I'm actually going to go for the Sleep Powder as the Torn comes back in. Beautiful. All right, so now that thing's asleep. So nothing is faster than Deancey. Um, I'm just going to click knockoff actually, because he's uh, he has to burn an initial turn of sleep. Going to get off some 20% uh, there on Torn. Not too bad. And we're just going to go out into Rotom. Because Rotom walls this, so. He's got a Regenerator Core, which is really annoying. He's going to go for Knock Off. Uh, Super Power might actually take me out here, which is kind of scary. 
Uh, I'm just gonna pain split. He's gonna superpower. He is gonna get the roll, unfortunately. And we're gonna go into the Ancy. Now he doesn't have a very good answer to this because he's not AV. So I'm just gonna throw out a Moonblast right here. If he wants to superpower again, that's fine. I'm I'll be glad to get rid of this thing. I don't think we win this one because of Volcanion. Then again, Deancey outspeeds it. So I think all I need is like one crucial crit on the Tangrowth, and I should be fine. He's gonna go into Slowbro on my Moonblast, which is nice because that thing is two hit KO'd. And uh, we're just gonna click it again, honestly. No reason not to. Uh, yeah, this should be two hit KO'd regardless. Yep. I didn't think, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about a Mega. But Tangrowth comes back in here. Now, this is why I wanted to get it burned earlier was because I could protect on it the first turn and then throw out a Moonblast, so. Um, he's gonna take extra burn right there. I'm gonna go into Tangrowth, and basically I have to make a play right here. He's just gonna go, okay, he made the play, all right. Volcanion comes in, and I cannot switch into this thing, so I need to dodge a Fire Blast is my only way, as he just gets it off right there, yep. And uh, this is gonna be GG, I believe. Uh, my play here is always to Diamond Storm, regardless, it will take out the uh, Volcanion, regardless of the crit. We get a defense raise, but that's not gonna help at all. I think it comes down to whether or not we crit this thing, uh, but even at that, like, our Moonblast at the beginning of the game did nothing, didn't it? Let's see. Moonblast, 36%. Yeah, we didn't manage to get rid of this thing's Assault Vest, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll just go for the, uh, actually, if we, if we protect a few times, <laughs> could we pull this off? Diamond Storm's not gonna do too much either. Well, which does more? Hold on. Tangrowth, uh, Salt Vest versus Deancey, Mega, Mega. Uh, Diamond Storm, Moonblast, Dut. Wait a minute, what? Why is he. Is he Max Spadef? He's Max Spadef. What? Okay, does Giga Drain even take me out from here? Uh, if he has no investment, it still does. However, okay, I have to protect a few times, I think. If he's max but F, I, I do 35 to 41. A crit would do 60, so I need to bring him down to 60. I have to go for the double protect as it fails. And that is going to be GG, unfortunately. We do lose that one. A uh, couple of uh, missteps on my part. Now, I could have made a prediction, honestly, on the, uh, on the switch out. I was going to, but I figured that he would just play it safe on that first turn that he switched out, but... Anyway, uh, Hoopa looks like it has a lot of fun here. We see a Chansey, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, Hoopa, Hoopa definitely has a lot of fun. All right, let's just lead Azelf. Azelf is safe. Uh, Azelf gets to taunt the uh, the Hippo. Gets to go for Stealth Rocks after. His only hazard removal is Latios. I wish we had a little more speed on this team. That's the only thing that I'm, I'm kind of weary about is the speed tiers. Like, I wish there was a bulky, faster water type that I could play, that I could use on this team, but... Uh, we're just gonna go for Stealth Rocks right here. We are faster than his Keldeo. Confirmed not Scarfed. He goes for Icy Wind. That is fine by me. Uh, we can just switch out into... We can switch out into Mag on this, honestly. Or Rotom. Yeah. If you're going for Icy Wind, I'm just gonna switch out into Rotom. He goes for a Hydro Pump, so we would have been able to take that. That also confirms that he's not choiced in any, in any way whatsoever. And uh, I'm just going to throw out a, a, a Wisp right here, as he does choose to go into Chansey. Nice. And uh, we're going to get off a Wisp on this thing. We're going to go for a Volt Switch right here. And what we'll do is we'll go into Hoopa. And, uh, oh, damn. I clicked Deancey. They look so alike. Why did I do that? <laughs> okay, it's fine. We're going to go for a Moonblast, because I don't expect him to stay in on a, on a Diamond Storm. But he does. All right, cool. As uh, we're going to see a Soft Boiled right there. And I'm just gonna keep clicking Moonblast because it does a decent chunk. Coupled with Burn, we might be able to even get him into uh, Diamond Storm range if he decides to stay in. But I'm really expecting the, Hep the Hepaton to come out. Like, that should be his switch right here. Because it does take uh, Moonblast. So, I don't understand why he's not switching out. He's just not switching out. He just goes for Soft Boiled again. That's fine. I'm just gonna keep throwing out Moonblasts because I'm stubborn, and uh, I figured he would eventually switch, as he does, finally, into Venusaur, which gets its special attack lord, which means that Hoopa is now a switch. Like, I didn't even mean to be in with Deancey, honestly. <laughs> that was just a, that was a misstep on my part. He's gonna go for Giga Drain, it's not gonna do too much. He's threatened out by the Psy Shock, so I don't expect him to stay in, which is why I'm just gonna throw out a Shadow Ball right here. As he goes into Chansey, cool. I can just taunt you, and uh, you're gonna be forced to switch. 
So, yeah. Just get taunted, and yep, no toxic for you. And we'll go for a Shadow Ball again, because it hits everything. And yeah, we'll play from there. Now, Chansey is great Drain Punch fodder. Uh, now that he knows I'm Taunt, uh, he's not. He's probably not going to stay in too often. He actually goes into Keldeo on a potential uh, Psy Shock right there, which is really interesting. So, um, Rotom is a decent switch to this. So is Tangrowth, but it's not AV. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Tangrowth first because I expect a water move to come out here. As he goes for the Secret Sword, actually. Okay, so that works out. Uh, that wouldn't have hit Hoopa, so I don't, I don't know if he knows that. But anyway, I'm going to double in a Rotom right here as he goes into Venusaur. So nice play. Uh, we can just Volt Switch again. That's absolutely fine. As uh, we should be faster than his Venusaur unless it's very uh, heavily invested. Do I really want to chance that? Hold on. <laughs> Wait up. Uh, yeah, I want to chance that. That's fine. If he goes into Chansey or... To okay, he is faster. Okay, that's that's a little bit scary. Why are you faster than me? Um, yeah, that's a lot of investment. All right, we're going Tangrowth. I don't expect a Sludge Bomb right here. There's the Giga Drain. Beautiful. That still did a lot. <laughs> and I'm going uh, hard into Mag here. Uh, we're not gaining too much ground, but he does go for Sludge Bomb. I can just throw out a Flash Cannon here. I'm not too scared of Heatran, so he does go Chansey, though. All right, cool. And uh, he knows that Hoopa can stop this thing dead in its tracks. So I expect him to Toxic, actually. Let's go Deancey. Because Deancey can bounce back a Toxic. It can threaten this thing now because of a Diamond Storm. We know that his Venusaur is offensive, so that also helps. I'm going to go for a Diamond Storm this time. Does a nice 32%. Get a Defense Boost. He's going to go for a Seismic Toss. That's absolutely fine. It's good. Not, not fine at all. It did way too much. I'm going to go out into Hoopa now uh, because Seismic Toss doesn't actually hit us. As he goes for Soft Boiled. Now, last time he switched into Keldeo. So I don't, I don't expect him to make the same play twice. I'm going to go for Psy Shock anyway, though. Uh, as he does switch into Keldeo, I guess it's his sack. Uh, we'll be able to knock that thing out with the Psy Shock, which is nice. It's very nice for Tangrowth. Uh, that Venusaur is still a huge problem. I definitely need to keep Hoopa alive uh, this whole game, which is going to be difficult with Rocks up. It's another flaw of this team. It doesn't have any hazard removal. He actually chooses to bring in Heatran, though, so this is uh, curious. He's going to give my Rotom a chance to wake up, which is nice, as he's just going to go for Fire Blast. Is that Specs? I think that's Specs. Heatran. Heatran, Choice Scarf versus Rotom. Rotom Wash. We're going to change this to Choice Specs. Uh, choice Specs and change his move to Fire Blast instead of Overheat. As that is definitely what it is. Yep, that's the only way I would have done that much damage. Now, I don't have a switch to this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Hydro Pump. He's just going to land another Fire Blast. It's going to leave us at 1%. If we can dodge this, that would be wonderful. Uh, we do dodge. Do we get the wake? We do get the wake. <laughs> we get the pain split. Awesome. Okay, so this Heatran's going to lose a lot of health right there. And I can freely Volt Switch because this thing is no longer a threat. Um, as he does bring out the Chansey. Beautiful. We are going to get the switch into Hoopa right here. And uh, again, I don't expect him to stay in. So I'm just going to... Should I just taunt anyway? Um... Now, you know what? I'm going to go for a Drain Punch, actually. Going to get a lot of health back from this Chansey. As you can see, we go up by 29%, so that's not too bad. He does go for the Toxic. Uh, that's not the end of the world. I can taunt this thing now to prevent it, uh, prevent it from healing, basically. Um, but I do need to keep Hoopa, again, for this Venusaur. I don't know if he's faster than me, though. That's the problem. Like, I have no idea whether or not he's faster. And I'm glad I kept a Zelf, because I'm going to be able to explode on that thing. He's going to go into Hippo on the Taunt. Uh, which is not great, because he's forced to attack now, and I don't have a great switch. I mean, I have Rotom. That's not too bad. He might switch back into Chansey. Might be his play. Uh, as he's just going to go for Earthquake, that's absolutely fine. We can just go for a Volt Switch here. I don't expect him to stay in. We'll get off some damage on whatever wants to come in. It is going to be the Chansey. Awesome. Uh, so after Sand and this Volt Switch, how much did our Diamond Storm do last time? 32%? Yes, it is in range. Wonderful. All right. Uh, so we can just click Diamond Storm here freely. If he switches this thing out, it's like basically in range of any of my special attackers too, so I didn't see him doing that. Um, I kind of expect, yeah, this thing to come in. Kind of predictable. 
But Venusaur offensive versus Deancey. Mega Deancey, Diamond Storm. 37 to 45, not bad. Not exactly what I'm looking for in terms of damage. Um, he's just gonna Giga Drain, right? So, how do we give him the least amount of health? With Deancey, right? Yeah, okay, so this is what I do. Um, yeah, I just click Diamond Storm. Get off some nice 38% on this thing as he goes for a Giga Drain. He's gonna be able to knock us out, but we leave his Venusaur extremely low, which uh, is huge. Uh, it's pretty big. Magnazone should be able to knock this thing out now. Magnazone. Choice Scarf. Uh, Flash Cannon does 31 min. Yep. So definitely Magnazone is the play of choice. We will go for Flash Cannon. I definitely also need to keep Magnazone because of this, uh, this Latios that he's just keeping in the back. I'm assuming it's Mega as well, which is a little bit obnoxious. He knows I have Shadow Ball, so he's never going to let me click that with Hoopa. He's just going to attack. I need to explode on that thing. I need to kill everything else on my opponent's team before I can explode. Because if at any time he switches, I think I just lose to, uh, to Latios. So we're able to get rid of the Venusaur, which is really nice, as Rotom can typically handle the rest. Uh, being Heatran and Hippowdon. Thank thankfully, we dodged that Fire Blast because I don't know what I would have done. Uh, he's going to go into Heatran. This is fine. I think this is where I sack Hoopa off. Absolutely. As he goes for a Fire Blast. Now, again, this is a uh, not 100% accurate move. He's only got four left. I should have gone into Magna Zone there, actually. Yeah, I should have definitely gone Mag. All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um... It's not fine. <laughs> I should have definitely gone mag there. All right. Well, uh, I guess we live with the consequences and we click Hydro Pump. He hits this one. That's fine. We're going to go into mag this time. We are going to click Thunderbolt. If he wants to switch into Hippo, that's absolutely fine. He does not. He goes into Heatran. Uh, I mean, he stays in with Heatran. Excuse me. Hippo can come in. However, Tangrowth is still alive. Tangrowth can definitely take a hit from Latios. And Tangrowth has the magical move known as Sleep Powder, which hits 2% of the time. But it's something that we have to deal with, so. Let's, uh, let's go into Tang. He's gonna go for Ice Fang. It's not gonna do much at all. <laughs> like, I don't know that if this, that's why he was keeping Hippo, but anyway. Um, let's go for Sleep Powder. As he does switch into Latios, this is great if we land, which we do. Awesome, okay. Let's click Knock Off. Basically, I'm just getting everything in range of Flash Cannon. This should be his Mega. Uh, or not. <laughs> Goodbye, Life Orb. Okay. So, um, in that case, I think my play is to sack a Zelf right here, because I don't want to give him a free roost, and we get to explode. He can't come back in on rocks, so we get to knock this Latios out, as he just forfeits. Okay, so that's awesome. We're able to take that one. I'm going to get one more. I know it's a longer live, but again, like I said, I haven't recorded in a while, so... I really want to make this uh, as hefty as possible. We're able to get two wins, one loss so far. If we can get one more win, I'll be very happy. If we get one more loss, then like I said before, the OU suspect test ladder is actually pretty ridiculous right now. Uh, the top is 1483, uh, which might mean actually, hold on a second. Are we in top 500? Aster. Uh, no, we're not. Wait, why are we not in top 500? It says 1148. I should be way past that. Wait up. Slash rank. Oh, you suspect test 1258. Yeah, I should be up here. Um, 1258. Where is it? 1258. Oh, right. Okay, LT5A. I'm 80th. I'm 80th on the ladder. What? Okay. All right, I'll take it. Uh, so we get Blunder's team. Uh, luckily, we know all of the sets, so this should be a relatively easy match. Every time Hoopa comes in on the uh, Jirachi, it pretty much gets a kill. So... That's very nice. Um, I really like Hoopa as a lead to beat lead Metacham. So I'm going to lead off with it. And uh, my opponent leads off with Metacham. Beautiful. That is a free Shadow Ball. That is absolutely free. There's nothing he can do. He can Ice Punch Freeze us or Thunder Punch Para us. That's literally all he can do. Is he going to get the Para? No. And that is a dead Metacham. Goodbye. All right, awesome. So no, no longer have to deal with that thing, which is great. Um, and again, like I can get off a shadow ball on his, um, 
on his Rotom. So we know that this thing is specs. So I think uh, Rotom is a decently good um, switch in here. Now the thing is he might go for Secret Sword knowing that. Nah, they always click Scald, right? They always click Scald. Yup, they just play for the burn. That's what Blender says, man. They just play for the burn. <laughs> Let's go for Volt Switch on his Latios. Where's Jirachi? Okay, that works out too. Um, now, Jirachi without any speed investment, which is with what Blender is, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but let me just see Jirachi, because I think we outspeed it with, um, let's see, choice, uh, no, specially defensive, runs, okay, runs 32 speed normally, without it, it's at 236, so let's see if Hoopa can outspeed this, because if it can, it gets off a lot of damage, so we'll see right here, 15% from Volt Switch, okay, we don't, we do not outspeed, all right, so what we're gonna do is just trap this with Magnazone, uh, he's not Wish Protect or anything like that. He's just uh, Iron Head, uh, U-Turn, Iron Head, U-Turn, Stealth Rocks, and Healing Wish. So what I'm going to do is go for a Volt Switch, actually, expecting him to want to U-Turn out. I'm going to go into Tang Growth here, and uh, he's actually just going to go for Stealth Rocks, so good play. And we're going to go for Knock Off, because getting rid of an item does not hurt at all. He's going to take Rocky Helmet from that, which is really nice. Uh, this thing's dying slowly and the next time we trap it with magnazone it's pretty much done so gonna get off a nice knockoff here on this keldeo get rid of its choice specs we already know it has some kind of hidden power to potentially hit tangrowth however uh, without the choice specs it shouldn't be able to knock us out so we'll go for giga drain and ghost for scald uh does not get the burn we're gonna get off a huge giga drain right here and uh, i'm actually gonna go for uh yeah just another giga drain why not honestly he can hidden power if he wants goes for icy wind okay that's his last move. That's fine. We have our generator. We're back up to 71. Or, what is it? 59 after we come in? Yeah. Alright, so, Latios finally decides to show its face. Uh, this is, uh, HP Fire? This is HP Fire. Which is probably what he would click, right? Uh, realistically? Because I have a Magnazone? Yeah? Yes? No? Maybe? Uh, I want to keep Rotom. Because I don't want him to spam EQ against me. And then again, I have a Tangrowth. Uh, let me go Neurotum first. I feel like it's the better switch. Let's go Neurotum first. He goes for a Psychic, actually. Okay, so he swapped out Psyshock. Now, I know this thing is HP Fire. It has to be HP Fire. There's no way it's not. Um, but I do want to get Rocks up. Or do I? No, no, I don't really want to. Let's go into his Elf. And let's click Explosion, because <laughs> it's extremely strong. And we're able to knock out the Latios. Cool. All right, so that thing's gone. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go into Deancey. Uh, let me explain why. Because if this thing comes in, right, this thing shouldn't be able to knock us out with a uh, Hydro Pump if we don't Mega Evolve, which is my train of thought here. Um, to Deancey. If we go to OU Offensive but stay in regular Deancey, Hydro Pump does not knock me out uh, a lot of the time. Uh, how high are you so far? I'm stuck at the bottom. I'm 80th on the ladder. Um, yeah, let's click Moonblast. Get some damage off on this thing as he goes for Hydro Pump. And he is able, able to knock us out, actually. Wow. All right. Uh, Tangrowth comes in here, though. And uh, he can T-Wave me, which is a little bit annoying. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna just go for, uh, for Giga Drain here, though. Because it hits everything. I can knock off the Jirachi later. That's fine. Will-O-Wisp is okay. We're getting off some great damage on this Rotom right here. I just need to keep Tangrowth healthy, basically, for the Lando. I need to Sleep Powder it and other shenanigans, so. Uh, we do still have a Rocky Helmet as well. He's probably just gonna Volt Switch, right? He doesn't have Pain Split, which is good. Uh, he could also just go for Hydro Pump, which is a play. Uh, yeah, let's just go for Giga Drain. Oh, wait, he does have Pain Split. Wow, okay. Well, we're gonna knock him out right there. That's awesome. And, uh, neither of the other two really beat me, but now that I'm burned, they definitely can. Let's click Sleep Powder, because I don't expect him to Iron Head while I have a... Uh, he does Iron Head. Wow, okay. I didn't expect that while I had a, uh, we actually break through. <laughs> while I have a Magnazone, I really didn't expect that kind of play, but... Uh, I'm just going to go for a, um, a knockoff right here, as he's going to let me knock off his Jirachi, which is cool. 
And I definitely have to keep Tangrowth right here. I'm gonna go directly into Magna Zone. I wanted to knock off the incoming Lando, was the play. But uh, that doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. As he is going to stay asleep, which is awesome. Um, the problem is, Tangrowth no longer <laughs> lives in Earthquake. He's playing for the Scarfed uh, Lando win. Let's go back into Tangrowth. And uh, he does not wake up. Now, I'm not gaining too much health back. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to live uh, an Earthquake. That's the problem. He's going to wake up right here. He's going to go for the U-turn. Uh, and this should spell doom for us. He should be Scarfed, right? Yeah, he is Scarfed. Okay. Yep. All right, Tangrowth comes in. Does not take burn, which is cool. Uh, I'm just going to go for a... Uh, did I just go for a Hidden Power Fire here? I'm going to go for a Hidden Power Fire, expecting his Jirachi, as it does come in. That's still not going to be enough, though. And uh, Iron Head's going to pretty much seal our fate. We're going to go for a Gage Drain. He's going to go for Iron Head. He's probably going to get the flinch, uh, as he does. And Burn is going to be able to finish us off anyway, so that's going to be GG. Do fall a little bit on the ladder. We're now at 1226, which puts us where? 1226. I'm going to do more episodes like this for sure, guys. Uh, Aster... Where am I? 145th. Okay, I can definitely get back up, though. I can definitely get back up. 1483 is huge. That's insane. Like, top 10 is ridiculous. Like, look at this gap. There's a gap of 121 ELO. That's crazy. Okay, this guy already has his coil. Wow. Okay. Well, then. Uh, that's gonna finish it off for today, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a uh, like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you're looking forward to more con content, because I sure am now that I can actually play Showdown again. It just feels like, I know you guys uh, probably can't sympathize with me because you haven't had the issues that I had in the past couple of days. More than likely. But, like, it, it, was, it was devastating and now it just feels so good to be able to record again and to be able to do this for you guys. So, thank you so much. Thank you for ev to everyone for watching. Seriously. It, I say it every day, every time I do an outro, but thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. And uh, that's it, guys. I will see you guys later. Ciao.